happened. I can't fucking believe it. I've marked where the split's gotten to so that I can see if it's starting to split further than there. When anchoring in a place where there is reef around, it is of utmost importance to never drop your anchor on any coral, as it causes the coral catastrophic damage. You always have to find a patch of sand when anchoring in the reef, and we did just that. Although there are patches of bommies around, the wind was staying from the same direction for the next few days, and I knew that we would not swing around, so it was okay to drop the anchor with bommies around. Yeah, it's on sand knowing that I placed the anchor right where I wanted it. Perfect. Woohoo! We're in Lady Musgrave. That's where we're anchored, just there. Where can you snorkel from here? Oh, next to that bommy just there. We are going diving into the reef. Woo! went and picked Dean and Sandra up to go and climb the tower so we could get some updated weather as we were planning on leaving Lady Musgrave the following day. We wanted to make sure the swell was going to be less than 1.5 metres so we could cross the 1770 bar safely. Shat on. 
Oi, Dad! Wait, wait, I'm recording! Oh, yuck! I just got <laughs> shat on! That's so gross, I'm not looking up anymore. Fuck this. this mess Oi, quick, birds. go! Get out of get here! Out of here. <laughs> Which way are we going? Oh, Through! Yeah. We're gonna get shat on! Yeah. Dad, can't believe you got shat on! <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Lady Musgrave is always such a joy to come and visit. Every time I'm here, I always have the most beautiful experiences. The bird life and health of the forest just blows me away every time. Like trees like this make me so freaking angry. Why? Like people just writing their names to be like, I was here. Like you just think, even marine parks put like a sign here that looks simple and adds into the, the nature strip saying this is not okay. It's never okay to interfere with this trees in a sanctuary in like pr marine protected area. Like don't imprint anything into the trees by human interaction and interference and just put it here. And if they don't put it here, anybody that sees this, this is never okay. Jack, like no. <laughs> And look at it if it's coming all that's all coming up, even though it's just a log. That's how healthy the soil is. Oh, I've got shadow on my back. Yeah. Meg got shot on. I got shot on. <laughs> Everybody gets shot on. Everybody gets shot on here. Here's a little empty patch. See that little sky? Open this up there. It means if I stand here, I won't get shot on. <laughs> Safe spot to stand. A shit? What is that? That looks like a shit. That's a pretty <laughs> solid shit. That must be a pelican poo or something. <laughs> Jesus. about to dive. That's the entrance. There's the island. And then sail back to 1770.
Alright, we ready to do this thing? Yeah. Let's see what my wife got on. Daddy Dino, Daddy Dino, do you copy Sagey Wagey on one two? Over. So have a look at what I just found. Oh my goodness. Hi ay ay. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. I can't believe this has happened. 
I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> I literally, I just saw this. 30 seconds ago. And wait till I show you what it looks like on the outside. It's so rotten in there. Oh my god, it's just fucking pulled through completely. ocean crossing that we did has really been um, good for showing where the weak spots on Pearl are. Yeah, it's pretty clear what's happened here and I think I know what I need to do as well. Although I'm not a boat builder, I'm really not expecting this. I've, um, I've just put one of the engines on and uh, I'm not flat strapping it but I'm motoring so that I can get into protection uh, this afternoon into a river, 1770. Uh, my dad's there. Um, he'll probably come over and help me problem solve how I'm gonna fix this thing. And my new bolt that I gotta put in the cross, the cross beam behind it. So what I think I need to do, yeah, that's all rotten there. And then it's all good there. It's all good there. Yeah, these bulkheads here are um, not connected to this piece. So I think it's just this little section in here that's rot rotted out. The stringers might be okay. I'll only be able to find out once it's cut open. I was really, really not expecting this kind of drama with the boat. Um, Anyway, I'm just finally coming back into reception and my dad's calling me. What's what's going on? Oh, mate. Well, I was just getting into the hull um, and I just looked down at the um, the hull as I was getting in and there's a big split up the side of it. But basically the, the washers have pulled through the fiberglass um, and it's created a... Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty rotten wood back there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's not it's not at the water level. It's it's uh, it's above the deck. So it's not getting bigger. Like you no. feel confident you'll get to shore, okay? Yeah, I feel pretty confident that um I'll be able to get into 1770. I'm just uh, motoring so we can get in there before dark. Yeah, good idea. Are you in? Check out this split. It's fucking rotten in there. I've marked where the split's gotten to so that I can see if it's starting to split further than there. There's a split in my boat. Look at it. All right, we're just gonna be uh, coming in through the bar, 1770, in about 10 minutes. Dad's gonna come and guide us through. He's mapped out the, uh, the channel for me so that hopefully nothing goes wrong on the way through. But I'm really excited to get into sheltered water and uh, drop the anchor and just fucking unwind after today. Oh. All right, better put these sails away soon.
Thank you, Pearl, for getting this here safely. Love you. I'll fix you up and you'll be stronger than ever. What a day. I safely dropped the anchor. I guess tomorrow is the day that I try and fix it. I wonder what that's going to look like. Stick around for next week's episode as I start to rip into my rotten wood and start the rebuild process. Oh, nothing like a bit of rotten timber. Yeah, look at that. Ah. What are you doing there, Sage? Oh, mate, just chiseling away at me home. <laughs> no, no. Thank you very much. I'll be back again next Friday. <laughs> Please make your way out the front door. Mind the step. All right. I won't be having anyone over for dinner or tea. I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. So you got to go. And uh, if you don't go now, I'm going to have to get security to come and remove you. So get off, off your asses, off the seats, use the tootsies, switch them down the airport, and now out the door you go. And uh, thank you very much for coming. And uh, I'll uh, see you again uh, next Friday. <laughs> Paradise, 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 paradise